It's the eye black slur that has given the Blue Jays a black eye, and for many, it's still worth talking about. If the gay communities, you know, that upset about it, I, I just, I just, I don't get it. But I think the three-game suspension's fine. It's a macho thing. Yeah. I grab my my coworkers behind all the time. I'm not gay. I'm totally straight. As far as I'm concerned, he should be gone. Yunel Escobar expressed remorse as the Blue Jays released this statement. The Toronto Blue Jays do not support discrimination of any kind, nor condone the message displayed by Yunel Escobar during Saturday's game. The club takes this situation seriously and is investigating the matter. An apology, a three-game suspension, and donations made to various charities. But it's now the real work begins, according to some experts, repairing the damage done to a billion-dollar brand. They have a lot of work to do. Uh, you know, there's definitely been some damage here in regards to, I think, the, the, the fans of the organization. But a wider problem, according to Hall, is the locker room culture that allowed this to happen. I think there should be bigger repercussions, uh, particularly for those in, within professional sports who actually don't um, understand and understand the sensitivities in regards to sexual orientation, diversity. On the ice, the GTHL won't even stick handle around the issue of acceptable locker room behavior. Uh, for anything related to discriminatory uh, language or insults or intimidation, the player suspended indefinitely, automatically, immediately, and then the matter is reviewed by the president. Back to Hall, who says for Escobar, this is a teachable moment. The towel isn't thrown in the thrown in the bin yet for you know. I think he um, I, he looks like he's he feels sorry for what he's done, but I think we need to step back and look glaringly. How did this happen? The hope is that lessons have been learned. Rob Malcolm, Global News.